Hi everybody, today I'd like to tell you about the command cal, that's C-A-L, um, and it's short for calendar. This is Ubuntu Linux, and uh, you'll find that, so if we do a man cal, you'll see that it's actually, there's two different commands, cal and ncal. Today I'll tell you just about cal to keep it simple. Um, this being Unix and all, um, there are different versions of this command floating around out there. So if you were to use SUSE, I used to use SUSE, um, and back then there was a different version of the, this command cal and it had different options. So if you want to use this command you might want to take a peek at the at the man page. Okay, what does this command do? Well, if you just type in cal, it'll show you this month and um, if you want to see the whole year, you could just type in commands, uh, uh, the command cal 2011. And let me scroll up here a little bit. So you see it's practically, well, it's the whole year. Um, and this works for a lot of different uh, years. You could put in cal, say, 900. And this is the year, well, how it, how it looked like in the year 900. And this goes all the way up to... Uh, well, from 1 to Cal 9999, so all the years you ever need. And uh, this is how the year 9999 is going to look like, or at least that's what they say right now that it's going to look like. Um, if you put in Cal minus 3, now this right here isn't um, the year 3. What it is, is um, it's an option, and it'll show you the previous month, this month, and next month. So if you don't need all, if you don't need the whole year, that's, it's a quick way to just see, see the, um, the months around you. And you can also put this in a file. So say if you have 2000, Cal 2011, and you want to output that is the standard output into a file then you could say okay let's call this file 2011.txt um, you have to be careful because if this file already exists and you just use this right there that greater than sign the file will get overwritten so it's something to think about when you when you do this so and that was it now it's in that file and I could do a cat, C-A-T, on a 2011, and that's what's inside that text file right there. Cat, um, and not cal. Okay, and you can see it um, here in the file, uh, well, file browser. Um, that's what it looks like there. Okay, and you could uh, use this, it's just a text file. So if you want to print it out, you can put a few empty spaces in front um, so that so that it will be in the middle of the page. And that way you can print out this page and have it. Um, this, it's kind of a handy thing to have if you ever need a calendar to carry around with you. And for some reason, you don't have your regular calendar. Okay, well, that's the command cal. I hope you find it useful. Thanks.